Hey everybody, coming back at you with another Daisy video. So recently I've been looking for a tent, and um, I actually just found one the other day while I was wandering through the woods. I ended up finding this car. So uh, I was heading for my buddies down south, and as I was heading that way, I was kind of looking at the map and end up running into a pole and destroying this vehicle. And come to find out, there ends up being a tent in the back. So I end up carrying this thing around with me for quite a while because I'm pretty scared that it's going to disappear if the server resets and it's not in my inventory or whatnot because I've had that happen to guns and other uh, pieces of equipment. So uh, the car runs out of gas here and I kind of end up just coasting on down this hill and uh, kind of crash into a tree at this point up here. And then this is when I really find out what every, you know, all the items that are in there and the thing's damn near full. I think they hold 300, and I had like 280 something, uh, I'm gonna say pounds worth of items. But, uh, so I fuel up, end up starting this thing back up, and this is, you know, at this point I'm still heading south to meet up with my buddies. I also showed what server I was in, so that way I can recall to the server, because I'm going to be setting the tent up to see how long it lasts, about how much you can hold in it, and about what you can actually do with it. I'm gonna be putting the camo net on it to show how well that, you know, kinda of hides it and camouflages it from, you know, enemies walking by um, or anything like that. And so at this point, I finally get this car out of here and start heading south again toward my friends. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I stumbled upon this car, but I was walking through the woods looking at my compass and I ended up seeing this blue car just sitting there. So I ran up to it. I kind of checked out the area to make sure nobody was, you know, around ambushing it. And I got up uh, the battery, the spark plug, and the radiator, along with all four tires were on the vehicle. So I got in, I checked the gas, it was pretty full. I ended up driving it up to where you see me run out of gas. And then that's where I kind of got out and then put some more gas in there. So I end up hitting this first pole because I'm really trying to look at the map on my phone and drive at the same time and kind of guess where I'm at, you know, in the direction of heading. So at this point, I really start kind of picking up some speed and getting a feel for how the gears work in this vehicle. Uh, first gear, it seems like, is about the only thing that can really get you up any hills. Uh, second gear, you can start getting some speed, and I'd say third gear is probably best for when you're on the pavement. I couldn't really get enough speed on the dirt to get into third gear. But that's where I crash into the post. And so at this point, I'm also kind of tripping because I'm out in the middle of a field in a smoking car. You know, like that's not subtle. So I get out, I end up checking the back, see what there really is, um, and kind of get my things that I want and, and kind of take off. I didn't have enough room in my backpack, so I just grabbed the tent in my hands and head to the tree line. And that's how I got the tent. So this is how you're gonna wanna set it up. Uh, it's very specific on the sort of ground you can set it up on. So you're gonna get it in your hands and hit right trigger. It'll put this transparent figure and that's kind of the base on, you know, kind of what the tent's gonna look like. It'll light up to this white color right here, looking like that when you can set it up. That's when you'll hold the right trigger and then it'll load and basically, you know, you'll set your tent up and then that's the final product of the tent. As you can see, this tent is extremely blue. You can't access the inventory from the outside, but you can from the inside, so that's a good thing. Um, I put a couple of things in here just as a test to see uh, if it will hold those. <clears throat> uh, some things that I did want just in case the tent does disappear. So after I set the tent up, I end up heading out here uh, to kind of loot some things and get some food. Uh, see what I can find. End up getting a little bit of zombie action. I figured I'd put that in the video just, you know, because. So after I drop those zombies, I lose their bodies. Um, I think I could just get one can of food, that was it. Uh, I ended up looting the rest of the buildings and running back to the tent. 
while I was there, I did take some hunter's pants and some basic items in case I do die, and this does work. That way I can come back and, you know, get some new items, and I know where they're at. So, I'm going to show you how the camouflage works. I took the netting off, and you can see it's extremely visible from a far distance. Uh, and this is with the netting on, coming down, you know, try to get the exact same path, but it's a whole lot better. So, and here's from another angle. Uh, same with this again, you can see the tent clearly, but with the camo netting on, it does, you know, wonders. Um, you also can't walk through the tent from the outside, but when you go inside, um, I do recommend to try to stay in first person, it just looks a whole lot better, uh, mainly because when you're in third person, you can kind of, you know, protrude through the tent, uh, as you can see right here. So, uh, you know, really to... Uh, first yourself in the game, you're going to want to stay in first person. Now the best place to find the tents are in the big cities, uh, apartment buildings and whatnot. Uh, they do hold 200 pounds, so they are really good to have, and that's why I was pretty uh, curious on whether it would disappear if I left it in the server. So uh, at this point it had been more than 24 hours, and I'm loading back into the server to see if the tent's there, uh, along with all my gear. Uh, or if anyone had maybe come by and looted it or possibly even taken the entire tent itself so I really just wanted to test to see you know what the tent could do and you know how it would hold up uh, as you can see it definitely stayed so that's a plus uh, but the downside is when I do shut the flap the camo does go away and I did periodically check uh, on the server over the time that I did let it sit here which it is closer to 48 hours I did kind of get lazy on this and let it slide a little bit longer so I go back into the inventory and it's still on the tent side in the spot it should be so I put it back in my inventory and then I put it back onto the tent and it is back on so uh, that seems like to be the only thing that I had an issue with uh, maybe something I can you know email the devs and they can possibly you know fix that or work on it it probably isn't a very big fix and I don't see it being one but you never know anyway that is it for the video uh, let me know what you guys think leave a comment let's try to get a conversation going let me know what you think about a tent um, I haven't seen any of the other tent videos uh, let me know if you have found any other tents car tents and whatnot uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Uh, subscribe if you like.